Right guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second flight, sorry, the second day with my Poet Bebop 2 drone. And today we're going to do a flight path. So with basically what it is, is that on my first day I was having problems. So what I've done, because this is the second day, I'm going to do this flight plan, which we can see here. So I'm basically going to let the Poet Bebop 2 fly in autopilot and i'll just monitor it that way you know it's easier for me to like understand more about the power to be bop too because again it's a new drone to me so what we're going to do now guys is we're just going to take off so here we go okay so what's happening now is that the power to be bop two is flying up to 110 meters okay and then when it hits its waypoint it's going to turn around and start flying over to its next waypoint which it is doing now so it's on its way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring up this map so as you can see, it's coming up to its first waypoint and everything should be pretty good. It should be turning in a second. I've got 86% battery. There we go, as planned. It's off onto its next waypoint. Everything is looking good. Again, on my very first day with the Powered Bebop 2, I was having a few problems. They seem to have been resolved, so I'm happy now. And as you can see, we're still on way to the next waypoint, so let's make it more interesting. And just switch back to this screen. Again, everything looks good. It's a very frosty day today, guys, and I mean very frosty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tilt down my camera because this is what autopilot allows you to do. It allows you to control the camera whilst you're in flight. So the Bebop is worrying about flying the drone, and I'm worrying about controlling the camera, but as you can see I'm not having a very good video reception so I'll just bring my camera back to the centre so yeah I've got better I've got better signal now eighty one percent battery I'm happy with that. It's a cold day as well. Well, it's a cold day by British weather standards. We're not like Alaska. We're not like, you know, uh, Canada, places like that. This is the United Kingdom. So we don't really get that cold. But yeah, guys, everything so far is looking very, very good. 79% battery. Over there in the distance, we can see the Peak District and the sun. If I just tilt my camera over here, we can see the sun rising over the Peak District. That's pretty cool. See the propellers of my Powered Bebop 2. Now, I do like this. You see, I think the Powered Bebop 2 is what the Bebop 1 should have been. You know what I'm saying, guys? So let me just actually let me just bring the camera over here. So I want that sun. Because what I do with my flight is I collect stock for deal, and you know <coughs> it's good to use the stock for deal in my own personal projects. Now I think this flight is a little bit slow. I think I'm flying a little bit too slow here. So I think on my next flight. I will speed things up and double the speed. 
But again, in all fairness, this is just a test flight to ensure everything is roof is running smoothly with the powered Bebop 2 drawing. And let me just bring up the map. So as you can see, we are now turning and we are now on our way towards Hazel Grove Golf Club. So let's bring the camera back on. See what we can see. Now I think I've just had the beep for my action camera. Okay, so I've just lost connection. I actually thought I would lose connection on this part of the flight path. So, nothing I can do now but just to wait. 68% battery, so there's loads of battery in it. Just now I need to wait for it to come back and finish its flight path. So I've established connection again, I'm back. So over there we have, sorry, down here, we have Hazel Grove Golf Club. And it seems pretty busy there, doesn't it? Quite a lot of cars. I've seen a few fireworks flying off in this area before. But anyway, 63% battery power. And the powered Bebop is now on the way back on its final, uh, sorry, it's now on its way back on its final waypoint. So basically what I want to do now is that it will want to land. So yeah guys, pretty cool. So far I'm very impressed with the powered Bebop 2. Again I had my problems on day one. But sorting out these little, you know, problems and comparing the Powered Bebop 2 to what the Bebop 1 is, then yes, I'm very, very impressed with the Powered Bebop 2. Very stable, you know, and it's, it's true, it's very agile, it's very fast. Sometimes I think that the Powered Bebop 2 can be too fast, particularly if you're new to drawings. Because I feel that the, I feel that the drawing is too fast yet its turning abilities is not that which racing drones are like okay yeah i see my powered bebop 2 it's now above my head and it's starting to make a descent well 57 percent battery which is pretty cool so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take control and I've got to tell you guys this, you can actually take control of your drawing when it's on autopilot. So I was going a little bit haywire there. There you go, centre the stick. But yeah guys, very good. Good stuff.